ladies and gentle people, Charlie here. Welcome back to the Flutterby Diaries. This is episode two, where we'll not only be looking at our wonderful little creatures, seeing how they're doing, but also exploring not only how I got into butterflies and other creepy crawlies, but why we should be protecting them as well. But grab your jackets, because for this, we will be heading out to the field. Hope to see you there. <laughs> field in the middle of not so sunny Norfolk because it's not only a field to me it is the field when I was little I would spend hours searching in here for creepy crawlies for bones for lots of other interesting things even watching rabbits and pheasants and when I was little it would be teeming teeming with butterflies especially early June and July but in the past five years or so, I have seen a marked decline. So much so that last year I counted about three butterflies. Not in one day, in the whole season. So let's explore why. there are lots of problems facing British moths and butterflies. Things like loss of habitat for buildings, things like insecticides and of course climate change as well. But what we do know is that at least 72% of British species have seen a decline in population in just the past decade. And in that same decade over 50% have seen a loss in distribution around the general UK area. Now that's a huge problem. Behind me you can see a patch of stinging nettles, which to most walkers, and especially gardeners, it is an annoyance. But to me they are a fantastic little plant, even if they do sting me ankles every now and then. Because when I was little I would spend hours watching caterpillars all along the stems of these plants. Things are like the two main species I'll be breeding this year, the peacock butterfly and the small tortoiseshell butterfly. Now they will lay their eggs on the underside of their leaves, and when they're a little bit bigger, the larvae will group together and actually make webs like spiders all along the top of the plant and they will move from nest to nest and so you can actually trace where they were laid from through their webs, which is just incredible. I'm now out of the field, I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around, see if I can find any evidence of caterpillars at all. If I don't, I'll be incredibly sad. Behind me you can see another inspirational plant from my childhood, the hawthorn, which most people again will just assume is just a boring plant that people would use for things like hedgerows. But it is incredibly important, not only to butterflies and moths, but of course to birds and other animals as well. Now when I was little, this particular hedge, which stretches about a quarter of a mile, used to be completely covered in moth caterpillar web. It was completely stretched, the whole plant was grey and it would be amazing. I would spend at least 15 minutes a day watching these wonderful creepy crawlies and watching them develop. Unfortunately, I've just been up and down that quarter mile of stretch for about an hour and I have only seen three tiny, tiny webs. That's it. Out of the whole quarter of a mile, three tiny webs. That's incredibly sad, don't you think? This is one of the reasons I love Hawthorn. Just look at those flowers. Aren't they stunning? I'm going to give up all hope. I find the jackpot. We have here some wonderful lava in a web. So this is in Hawthorn. You can see the species is green with a black head. But quite near this nest, we also have a separate web with a different species in it. So I will be looking these up and I'll get back to you as to what they might be. I've 
certainly located a nettle with at least some signs of webbing on it. But again, it is nothing compared to what we used to have when I was growing up. This nettle would have been absolutely teeming with life. <laughs> I found this nice patch of nettles here eventually. I've managed to see a few holes where the larvae have been. And although you might not see them, don't worry, I can assure you there are a few webs of larvae in this patch. So I will be coming back to here every few days just to see how they're doing. Especially compare them to ours, because I believe they are the same species as the one seen of episode one, the small tortoiseshell. Now how about we head back and I'll do a few more bits and bobs in the lab where we're going to be checking our mini beasts. Now they do need a little bit of a clean, I did check them this morning, so we do have a little bit of equipment. We have some tweezers, short and long, we've also got some cotton wool, some cotton buds and some nice What we're going to do water. is remove the nettle leaves that arrived with the caterpillars. They've been in there over a couple of days now and they're getting a little bit wilty, so I'm just going to remove those. Now don't forget, being nettles, don't pick them up with your fingers, they might sting you. Removed the nettle leaves, you can notice that they have left quite a lot of dirt. Caterpillars are renowned for producing quite a lot of mess. Which is why we're now going to go into the enclosure with some wet cotton buds just to make sure all the leaves are nice and has been moistened. I'm just going to quickly clean all the leaves just to make sure they're all nice for our lovely friends. See that even after just a few days they're starting to cluster all on one leaf and produce a fine web. You can also see that they've eaten quite a bit of the top of that plant and have produced quite a lot of mess on that top side. So very carefully I'm just going to remove those leaves, making sure that obviously I don't remove any of the larvae, although I believe most of them are now clustered. I hope you've there. enjoyed this episode of the Flutterby Diaries. In the next episode we'll be exploring the garden to see what we can do to help improve life for our insects including popping up our new insect hotel. But get your trowels for the ready because I'll also be showing you how to make an observation wormery. While of course checking on our lovely critters as well. See you soon!